cancer. And this is the only way our Haiti people can pick up their wealth and become economically independent. So we can be seen to be contributing to the database, what they call the GDP of this country, so that the president and his people can begin to place premium on our Haiti people and they not share the Haiti parts Thank you very much for your support. Let's all go home with this good news. Yes, indeed, it is okay for you to pay the right amount for the decision. Thank you very much. Before we close out, one thing from the Jambo distribution. A lot of people have been asking questions. The media, the general public, as to the money issues. Now, uh, please permit me to just explain some two issues so that uh, as you go, you will help us to disseminate this information when some of our people or some of the uh, general public ask these questions. We have two different forms of collections. The collections are coming down or they, they, they come down drastically and there is a reason for that. There was a law that was made that allowed Ghana Revenue Authority to collect blank legs at all points of entry to compensate for using copyright uh, infringement. And when the law was enacted, it covered cassettes, CDs, and pen drives. Those days, I mean, when levies came, there was a time that levy came up to as much as 20,000 20, and stuff like that. And then the man would come and be invited in the play for the visual to vote his ass up. And then come move and then see it. And then copy Ghana um, for books. And then there, was a, there were some um, statutory deductions, 6% or so, to go to the copyright office for anti piracy the 4% will go for GRA for the other collection, collecting the money for us. Now the money has come down, 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 down as, as this last four million. This should be 20 million. This should be 20 million, not a million. But now it's come down to four million. Why? Because nobody is bringing cassettes. Cassette is off it. So the cassette that is supposed to come for the court, for them to put levy on it, cassette is no more coming. And then let's talk about C. CD has also reduced by 80%. So the only way they are getting the money for us is on pen drives. Thank God, when the law was made, the law also said that in any other device that will come in the future, but according to the law aspect, they are saying that <coughs> they have to rewrite the law to capture this new device, which is the smartphones, the tablets, the hard drives and whatever. So that is what must be done through the Attorney General Department to replace this new law. Initially, myself and uh, uh, my predecessor, Chairman Kudu, we went to the Minister of Finance and thought that we could push it for them to just add these yeah. things. And they said, no. If you leave it in the hands of the court people, they themselves will ask so many things if you create confusion. So the new law must come and state that pen drives, smartphones, tablets, and then hard drives and whatnot, so that when you break it down, then you will pay. This is one of the reasons why the levy has gone down. Secondly, ever since Ghana government started to implement something at the Ministry of Finance that we call gifts, previously when the levy is ready, within two weeks, have it. But now, the levy is ready, GRA will give you the release that yes, you have so much, but it can take four months before you test it. And our people do not understand. The money is for the government. As I'm talking, the levy that is supposed to come two, three, four months ago has not arrived. We know that is in the process. So these are some of the difficulties we are finding or we are facing in relation to the levies. In so doing, 
people who used to get the minimum of say 500 or 600 will end up, some of them will end up getting the TC in social services. It's not anybody's fault. This formula that is coming will be divided into three. First and foremost, 6% will be taken for anti-piracy, 4% will be taken for GRA, the rest will be divided for three CMOs, so you can understand. And these that will be divided and go to the CMOs, by law, the CMOs, whatever money you get, you have to also keep 30% for your running, administration, salary, fuel, this and this and that. And then you take 10% for welfare before you distribute the rest, so you can understand this formula, by the time you realize you are only distributing 600,000, if you do the calculation. So distributing 600,000 is 1,000. That is the real situation. Then you come back to the other side of collection, which is the ones that we have to collect from. Our prime users like radio stations and TV stations, and then we go to the hotel, and all music, the public and uh, uh, users of music. This area, we are having difficulties. Initially, we felt that it would depend on the associations like GIVA, Independent Broadcasters Association, instead of us being antagonistic with individual radio stations. Okay, we sign an agreement with them, collect from your own members, even at a fee, and give the money, the balance to us so that we can distribute to our members. It wasn't working. We have done that with hoteliers, hotel associations. It's not really working. So, should we raise our hands in despair? No. We have to go to individual radio stations. Some who will pay, they have paid. Those who are the castle What do we do? If somebody is owing you and you go for your money, there are two things. You put a gun in his head or you drag it to court. In a civil society, the best thing you do, if the person is not paying, you drag the person to court. And the fact that you're taking the person to court doesn't necessarily immediately give you the money. In fact, you are spending the money, the letter that you have, you have to spend it to drag the person to court. So as we speak, we are in court with so many of the media houses, GBC, which is a state media included. We are processing, our lawyers are processing some of the media houses, big ones. And we are dragging all of them to court. We are already in court with all the four telcos because they are major users of music, yet they, are, they have never paid. They don't even have a license to, to, to deal with music, yet they are working. So we are finding it difficult. Gambo is a small organization. Gambo is the only organization that started with no capital. Elsewhere, when collective management organizations start, first two, three, four years, they don't distribute. They collect the money to build infrastructure logistics because if you are going to send people out to go and collect money obviously you need logistics for them to do so but the law binds you the law says that the money that you are not having even if you have take not more than 30 percent of it so there are so many times that a man will end and don't even have money to pay salaries yet the members out there they want their money whether government has paid you their levy or not want their money. Whether you have got radio stations or music users who are not paying to court and so you don't have that much, they still want their money. So um, as of now, what Gamro has decided to do, we are going to distribute anyway because as much as we don't have the little that we have, we, we are going to distribute it next week. Unfortunately, the very radio stations that are supposed by law to play the music and lock. Because even if you give me the money and you don't lock by telling me whose music you use at what time, it makes it difficult for me to distribute the money equitably. Because by logging, I can know that person Mensa's music was played 20 times, this guy's music was played 50 times, and all that. By law, the radio stations must do that. GBC used to do that. The majority of the radio stations are not doing it. So even if you pay me the money, the little money that you're giving me, you are making it difficult for me to distribute. So the Wingambo will have to incur extra cost to bring in a third party to render this service. So these are the difficulties we are facing. So this goes to our members. Yes, God has made a decision. We are going to distribute the letter that we have. We 
want the best for our members. But please, understand that right now, Gambro is at the war front. The majority of the people are supposed to pay us having paid them. We are in court with them. The levy that government is supposed to give us has gone down so drastically. And even so, we haven't received it. And then, not forget, government also started taking some taxes from the levy. Taxes yet to be explained to us. So you see, that is why it is imperative for government not to depend too much on this levy thing, but to collect from people who are using music. And the collection, we must, for something to germinate, we have to plant it for it to just rot in before it can germinate. If we sit down and we don't drag these people to court, we will never have solutions. So that is what we are saying. So the distribution that is coming out, whatever you get, take it as such, because that is all we have. That is all that we have. If that doesn't mean it will be forever. Things will change, but for now, that is what it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Finally, we've almost come to the close of this event, but I would like to acknowledge the presence of second vice chair for Gamru, that is Bandex, Alaji Banda. Point of connection. First vice chair, second vice chair. Third vice chair. Who do both? Who do both? Anyway, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions to ask, quickly do so, so that we quickly bring the event to around. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Chairman, in your remarks, you made mention of the fact that in some, some uh, countries like in Ghana, they do compile some of the hit songs. In Ghana, we didn't try this as much. In fact, once you do that, you get arrested. So we didn't try that, and we know for a fact that that is one of the reasons why the level of high risk rose higher because uh, the his songs were not available for Tomorrow is no music day. Thank you.